Hi, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to export Das Studio characters from Das Studio into Blender so that you can model assets around it and then bring those assets back at the correct size and scale and orientation back into Das Studio from Blender. There's a there's a kind of a preset that allows you to do that in Das Studio, but that's broken, so we can't use that. But it's fairly easy to do once you grasp the concept of what's happening. I'll also show you how to apply size, how to apply units and scale in Blender, how Blender thinks about this, so that you have centimeters throughout your workflow. I do have a little bit of a swollen cheek here on the right hand side. That is because I've had two wisdom teeth removed yesterday. Extraction. Uh, but I didn't feel a thing. It was a great experience. In fact, it was the best dentist experience I have ever had. And uh, I've, I've never felt so good about having something so drastic removed from my mouth. Uh, kudos to Sophie Dentistry here down on South Beach. If you're ever in the area and you need dental work done, Sophie Dentistry is the place to go. Anyway, plug over. Let's jump right into Das Studio. I'm going to be using uh, Das Studio 4.9.4. 1.71 or 171 rather and I'm using Blender 2.78 release C and I'm recording this video in August 2017 just in case your interface looks different than mine that is probably why things never stand still much in 3D software I've got a Das Studio character here, which is Bell 6, so that is a Genesis 2 character. I've done really nothing to her, I've just uh, removed the, all the skin maps and replaced them with a grey shader and applied a pose here. Now, just in case you don't know how to get that character grey, if you want to follow along, you just select it and head over to the Surfaces tab and make sure the character and all its surfaces are selected under surfaces you don't have to expand this it'll as soon as you just click on it it'll select all these surfaces and then head over to the shader mixer in case that's not open you head over to window panes and then open that uh, shader mixer you can dock it anywhere and it opens with a default gray shader all you need to do is hit apply and then your character will look gray like mine now in order to export Bell into Blender, we can use File, Export, and then pick a location in Wavefront OBJ. I've tested this earlier, so I'm just going to overwrite this Bell from Das Studio, I'll call it, and put it into a folder that I can remember. In my case, it'll overwrite it. And you may notice that you've got this uh, drop-down menu here, but well, by default, I guess it looks like this, so much less confusing. Uh, by default, it looks like this, and you could just use this Blender export option here. But that comes with several settings that have been outdated and are no longer used, no longer useful in the current version of Blender and haven't actually been useful for many years now. And uh, the way to go is to just create our own which we can do uh, by saving a preset once we've made adjustments, or we can just type in values every time. Now, let me just uh, show you what happens by default. If I just use this just default preset and I hit accept, Das Studio will export this. And let me uh, bring up Blender here, remove the default cube with X, and then head over to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ and then head over to that folder where we are. Mine is called Blender Export on the desktop and it's called Bell from Das Studio here. Now by default, I don't want to change too many settings. This uh, I'll leave everything as it is and just show you what happens with Import OBJ. Blender thinks about it for a second and what we see is, well, disturbing results really. We see Bell lying down, facing kind of upwards, and there seem to be sort of broken up parts here. That's all, none of which is really what we wanted. Some is Blender's fault, some is Das Studio's fault. Uh, so if we look in the outliner here, for example, we see that we get part of Bell, of, of our character, 
if the, the, every every piece of geometry seems to be its own part, so that we don't want. But also we don't want her lying down like this. So this is all this is really this is all disturbing, and um, we haven't even tackled the size and, and units phenomenon yet. So let's hit X and delete all that and start from scratch. Back in Dash Studio, we can leave everything else as it is and just uh, just do our export the way it will work. So head over again to File Export, override the existing file there, and instead of using this preset, head over to the Dash Studio preset, which exports one unit at one centimeter. And we can't change the units in Dash Studio, so we will just leave it at centimeters and work in the metric system. That is the easiest thing we can do. But make sure you click this show individual settings here and lots of other funky settings come up. Most of which we can leave alone, in fact all of which we can leave alone, except for the scale. Now the scale 100% is too large. Let us make that 1%. And then you'll see that at the top here, the Dash Studio preset will have changed to custom. And at this point, you have the option to save this preset. So you can just uh, save that and, and call it anything you like, perhaps something like a Blender Export. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to remember this is 1%. Hit Accept. And head back into Blender. And do the same thing as I did before. File, Import wavefront obj and i'm going to use this file but before i do there's one thing i want to change upon blender import and that is down here under split by default blender splits an object by object and group now we don't want either of that we want bell to remain a solid object and if we untick these things then we're good there's no way i can change the size on import so i'm going to leave everything here as it is notice these two parameters here forward is minus z forward or minus z forward and up is y up and we'll talk about that y in a minute or we'll see why that is in a minute but we'll leave it for now and just uh, double click the bell from ds blender thinks about this for a moment again and presents us with bell facing more or less the right way around now that is what we want and also notice that we have one solid object that's called bell from ds just like the title that i've given it in dash studio or from dash studio upon export okay that's a good start but that's not the end of the story because uh, out of the box blender doesn't really think about units at all let's head over here to this little tab that has the sphere cylinder and the sun button which is the scene tab and let me collapse everything that we don't need and only leave the units section open here now we have several things that we can deal with we either have we have the units up here which is kind of the unit of measure and we also have the length here, which is currently set to none. And then we also have a grayed out field, which is a unit scale. And they're all kind of connected. So by default, length is set to none in Blender. And that means that any of these squares on the grid, they just represent one BU or one Blender unit. But they don't really mean that it's a centimeter, it's a meter, it's an inch or whatnot. They don't mean anything right now. They're just kind of a Blender internal unit in which you could uh, create a cube and that is sort of two units high and two units wide and two units deep and you can you move it up one unit and so forth. It's just a generic unit that doesn't mean it's X centimeters wide or whatnot. To make that happen, you can pick from the length menu a metric or an imperial unit system and since centimeters that's what Dash Studio deals in is a metric system we'll just take that and that will kind of unlock this unit scale field here and uh, in case this is set to nothing set it to centimeters as well and notice what happens on the unit scale it will set itself to 0 0.01 and the grid will take on a very different 
appearances and now we don't seem to have a grid at all it's so extremely spaced out that i have to really zoom out to make that grid come back and that is because as soon as you pick centimeters blender will divide this by 100 that's not what we want so we want to we want to not just deal with the metric system and deal in meters because that is what would happen if i set this to meters the units of gear would become one and the grid would be displayed in kind of a more usable fashion i guess we want this to be centimeters but at the same time we want the unit scale to be one so let's do that make sure centimeters metric is selected and unit scale is one now to see how tall bell actually is let's press n and we get to see a lot of other parameters here in, in this palette let me close everything down that is currently not what we're looking for there we go let's select bell if you press A first, you're going to deselect everything, then click on Bell, either here or in the outliner. And then you get to see the dimensions of your objects here. So in our case, Y is uh, currently not pointing up, so we're going to fix that in a moment, uh, is uh, 1 meter 64. And that's kind of Bell's size. I would imagine that is Bell's size. He's, uh, we can check this on the DAS website, just to see that we're roughly on the right track here. Uh, here she is. Pro bundle should uh, display the size, her metrics. There we are. Height five foot four or one hundred sixty-two centimeters. That's perfect. So that's one meter sixty-two, or five foot four. That's kind of the size of of her. That I would imagine as well. So inside Blender we get one sixty-four. That's uh, that's not too far away there, uh, but we're not getting it displayed as the height which is in blender is the z axis z axis seems to be this and we're getting it displayed as the y axis which is still the up value from das studio but it also appears to be the y axis in blender so what is going on here well you can see up here that the rotation is on the x-axis is set to 90 and that is something that blender has applied upon import from the from the death studio scene so in order to fix that we can click Control a and apply the rotation now you see that this with these values are all zeroed out and the dimension values are all set to something closer to the truth which in this case in blender the z axis is up and it is one meter 64 and that is bell's height now we can start building our assets around her just to prove a point if we just move her to the side a little bit and create a new asset in blender so control a and uh, oh sorry uh, that will be shift a mesh cube let's make a cube uh, with the size of a radius of oops uh, 50 centimeters a radius is of course defined by being half of the diameter so half of one meter is 50 centimeters and this should give us a cube that is one meter by one meter by one meter and in the dimensions we can see that that is indeed the case uh, we can see that the cube is whoops, half sunken into the ground so we need to bring that up so press G Z 0 0.5 I'll bring that up half a unit or half a meter and we can see that the one meter cube reaches about just about half the size of bell let's look at this from the front orthographic view and we can see that the cube literally goes to about half a size let's do something even funkier imagine this is our asset and we want it to be exactly one meter we can bring that into das studio and we should reach just about to her navel here that's kind of cool we can see that the cube goes to just about her navel that's that's kind of a good orientation point if we export this from blender now bring it into das studio we should see exactly the same result let's make it happen shall we with the cube selected head over to file export wavefront obj 
head over to a folder that we can remember like blender export and we'll call this one cube from blender and uh, down here we don't need to change anything other than uh, make sure we're only exporting the selected object so selection only that's all we need to do and oh and the other thing is uh, the scale here it's currently set to one so we can either leave that here and apply a scale on import in dash studio or apply the scale here it doesn't really matter where we do it let's leave the exports as they are just apply that in dash studio so export head over to dash studio and move bell to one side and head over to file import cube from blender and here's our import dialog now you can start exactly the same way as before use the dash studio import option so uh, all the values are kind of reset and then multiply the scale by 100 to get the correct scale. Remember, we divided this by 100 upon export from Dash Studio. We need to now multiply the import by 100 as well. So that's just two zeros added here, 10,000%. You can do exactly the same in Blender. You uh, multiply by 100 and you get the same result and then don't tweak this in Dash Studio. It's kind of up to you. The result is the same. Hit accept and Look at that, we get a cube that is exactly the same size as in Blender, and that seems to me that the experiment was successful. Let's look at this from the front. And if we select both objects and then press this square here, that will center them. If we take our cube and move it over, we see that it's kind of exactly going towards her navel here and that is that is the same size as we've exported it from blender we can go one better move the cube to the side and create another primitive here in dash studio head over to create new primitive create a cube with the dimensions of one meter and i'm expecting this to be exactly the same size as the one that we've just created in blender let's do it there we go cube and that seems to be the case indeed. This cube has the same size as the one that came out of Blender. Problem solved. And that was it. This is how you export characters from Dash Studio into Blender and objects from Blender back into Dash Studio so that they retain the same size. 1% on export and multiply the import into Dash Studio by 100, leave everything else the same, and that should get you started. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, of course, share it with friends, family, and total strangers, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Take care.